Hello, I'm Cody Whipple with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Today, we're joined by a very special guest, Mark Saucer. Mark is the Stream Habitat Section Chief for the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. Today, we're on Little Chess Creek in Cambria County at the site where Mark's team previously conducted some stream habitat restorations. He's going to go over what the stream looked like beforehand, um, what it looks like now, and sort of some of the benefits that all the critters and the people who live in this area see from stream habitat restoration. Thank you, Cody. Yep, I'm Mark Saucer with the Pennsylvania Fish and Boat Commission. We're on Little Chess Creek. It's a Class A brook trout stream. And even though this section that we just worked in about a month ago, there, that Class A population wasn't in this section, so to say. Um, and the reason for that is we had a very over-widened stream channel. And the over-widened stream channel made the stream very shallow that fish could not even live in this section before. And the overwidened channel, you can see it just about started at the top of the bank. And there's an elevation line there where you can start to see our new grass. So it was overwidened. And this side of the stream bank alone was almost six, seven feet that there was complete sheet flows. And I mean sheet flows again, it was about two inches, one inch of water going through there, no habitat whatsoever. So what our mission was, was we have a class A brook trout population downstream and let's move that population up here and have it the same way as downstream. So what we need to do is provide habitat to make uh, that class A brook trout stream up here. So our design was to, we're gonna reclaim the stream bank and by reclaiming the stream bank, we used a log framed cross vein. By reclaiming the stream bank, we also stabilized the bank. Uh, those banks were complete five foot to six foot high vertical banks. They were highly erodible. Sedimentation was getting into the stream, which was also choking out those aquatic organisms that were trying to live in here. By choking out, sediment was falling into the stream and it was not moving downstream. So by us building this log frame cross vein, we're able to reclaim some of the bank, stabilize that bank with new vegetation. And this being a cross vein type structure, the cross vein structure was able to use uh, the energy from the stream to dig a pool. Um, the energy of the stream is when you get high stream flows, those flows come down, they're going to hit off our logs, our structures, and they're going to vertically dig a pool down into the stream channel. Kind of like a, like a waterfall type effect. So we had a, this stream section had no pool habitat whatsoever. Habitat's the key to have fish here. So this structure was able to solve the problem of stabilizing the stream banks, as well as creating pool habitat for the brook trout here. Thank you, Mark, that's awesome. Um, so I, I see you put a lot of rock and, and stuff in here to kind of help stabilize and support that stream bank. Is there a specific type of rock that you look at trying to utilize when you do this habitat work? Yes, we try to use what's natural in the stream, whether it's uh, there's limestone systems or sandstone systems. So we try to make everything blend in. We're coming in here to make a change, but at the same time, we want it to look as natural as possible. And again, these logs are, are hemlock logs uh, that are found throughout Pennsylvania. Aquatic organisms like to use native tree species like this as far as for a food source. And if we provide a bigger food source for those aquatic organisms, we're going to generate more fish. Thank you, thank you. So you mentioned that this is a Class A brook trout stream. What are some of the components that are used to designate a stream as being a Class A stream? The class A stream is we're finding different year classes of those fish. And year classes are, you know, one year we're going to have some small fish. And then we have to find other year classes, other year classes. And we want to see those fish starting to grow to two year old fish, three year old fish, where they could naturally reproduce and populate the streams themselves. So we don't have to supplement the stock. So by building the habitat, making this a better place for the fish, they're able to naturally regenerate, repopulate this section of stream themselves. And that's how we can get designated a class A stream. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Mark. Thank you. 